Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video uh, I'm going to just do a slight change to my um, to my home heating con security control. Um, my home assistant I guess if you like. Um, basically uh, if you look at this screen and you will see here I've changed these buttons um, so the text is in, in white um, for the reason being, um, if you look at the your screen that you're viewing on, uh, you can see this writing. But if you were to tilt the screen up away from you slightly, um, the viewing angle causes um, the text to not be readable very well. So for my little lad or uh, my wife, because she's t uh, shorter than I am, um, the viewing angle causes a uh, an issue for actually reading if something is in the off position. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, as you saw there, um, I've changed these buttons already. Um, so when it goes green, uh, the text will be right black. Um, but in the off state, where they are a dark grey, um, I'm going to change the text to be white. Um, I have had a couple of weeks off from uh, playing around with this um, home heating control system um, and I do apologize for doing the for a lack of video recording uh, for my channel uh, I have been busy with uh, some other things so uh, I do apologize um, and I will get back into it um, now today is the 1st of December 2020 and I am looking to get the code onto my github account um, probably about maybe the next week um, I will get it up there so I will make sure it's readable for other people to um, contribute to it um, and make changes for the repository um, and then you can use it as well because uh, that's what I'm about um, I've started doing quite a bit more open source um, software so rather than just sharing this amazing <laughs> amazing home heating control security system that I've done um, I want people to use it um, make it better uh, you know yeah so anyhow let's get cracking with changing these buttons so I've already done these ones here um, so I need to change the ones where these are turned off and if I go into my heating layout none of these will be in the uh, off position so it's only these four zone buttons that I need to change the text um, to white so it's readable from whichever angle so that's what this video is uh, so I do apologize it's nothing more interesting uh, but uh, I will get back on with doing more videos and uh, get this code onto GitHub, uh, like I say, in the next week or so. So before the 10th, I can guarantee it will be on my GitHub account. Uh, so I'm just going to close that. Uh, this folder here is where I am working locally, and then I will just um, secure shell into my Pi, which is downstairs because I'm upstairs at the moment. Uh, try to get away from noisiness of the dog barking or whatever. Uh, right, so I want to open this in GIMP because I use GIMP software. Um, this is to do my zone buttons, it's the actual sizing um, and the layout to it. So there we go. So I've got my background, I've got for my auto mode for when there is movement when it's dark enough it'll bring the external lights on uh, that's what that shade color does um, when it, I want to turn the lights on constantly it's in the green state but in the off state which is a dark gray uh, so that's where I want to be with that so what I need to do here is I need to basically add a text layer onto here um, I want the text size to be there and let's just have a look at a button so I'll just go over this one so it's called Z4 off button straightforward 
Right, so all I need to do is put the text zone 4 garage off. So that's what I'm going to do in here. So I'm already on there. It is white because I've recently been doing the round buttons off of camera. Um, so I need to just enter in capitals zone 4. Um, garage almost forgot what we're doing then off so if I just check it the text size looks bigger on that so I may need to change that so I'll get it on here and then I'll um, go back and forth on a picture to see how sort of size it needs to be uh, so I know it wants to be slightly bigger so let us just change the size of the text first of all uh, we'll go with that and we want to use the alignment tool click on the text item and up and down first get it centered and then to the left and right get it that centered and we want to um, export as and I want to, there we go, it's on screen, cool. Double click that, replace it, yep, export, and that's now saved. So if I click here, and if I click to the left, there's the garage auto. If I go back, yep, it's definitely a different <laughs> size text. Um, so that needs to be quite a bit bigger. Uh, yeah so let's go back to the text size highlight everything there and let's just increase that I'll try 13 see how that looks and what I'll do is when I've done with this I will uh, I'm on the alignment tool up and down, left and right. Uh, looks about there. Let's uh, just export as so saving that. So it should be done. Let's go back. And that to me looks the correct size of lettering, which is good. Awesome, right, let's get the other ones done now. Um, so the other ones, um, we need to, first of all, get us text. Um, yeah, we'll just do it all. Zone, space, free, enter. Uh, and this is the <laughs> rear. Um, so that's that one. Um, we shouldn't really need to do this, but let's just uh, just make sure it is centered correctly. And let us now export as. Scroll down slightly. Zone free off button. Cool. That's that one done. And now we need to. change the uh, text so zone 2 side off and alignment tool click that up and down left and right see how it's slightly changed then uh, I want to thought that the uh, that would have moved then but never mind uh, we shall check the uh, other buttons uh, in a minute. Uh, so let us uh, export as, and we need to scroll down slightly. Zone 2, off button, replace, export. And last one. We want to change this to zone one and this is the front off um, alignment tool click 
click the object that we're going to align and make sure it's in the correct place and export as and find the uh, off button replace and export right so that's it they should all be done now um, so let's go back let's get to gone past right so we've got zone 4 We've got the on state after the triggered state then um, and then the off state so this was the first one one that we did um, wrong direction so yeah that's good so we've got the auto and then we've got the zone free um, triggered and then the on and then the off state slightly moves there I must have put I guess I must have put a space in by accident and that's why it jumped over um, never mind let's just uh, <laughs> redo that rear one uh, text zone free rear off alignment tool and it shouldn't move cool uh, that's a different one so we need to make sure we're clicking the right one replace and export so let's just go back to our pictures and we'll move back to zone 4 because we know zone 4 is good so we're in the on state and there we go that's now sorted triggered um, for zone 2 on off triggered on off cool right so that's it for us buttons um, I'm happy with that um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to turn off that turn off that and select nothing uh, let's just go on to a different thing go away <laughs> select all select none that's it uh, right wrong button right so I want to save this as my zone buttons And there we go so now I've got the correct font size um, for the text if I need to add or change any buttons um, so that's now sorted uh, so I can close that close that right so what I want to do now is I want to open a terminal I want to go to my desktop and my new folder and if I do the secure file transfer protocol into the pi at 192.168.0.17 and enter the password um, that's home directory so I need to go into home 2 and basically if I do ls you should see a list of all the stuff and what I want to do now is I want to put which is the command to upload um, so I want Z one underscore off button and I want to do exactly the same again so Z one underscore off so that's now replaced that so all I need to do now is change the the zone numbers enter oops wrong button zone 3 and last one zone 4 cool exit this close the terminal 
and bring up the viewer, go back into my pie, go to the security menu, there we go. So now, if you were to look at this at a different angle, all this text is now readable. Okay, let's put all these back into the auto state. Cool, right, so there we go. Uh, my little lad and my wife will be happy now. They can read it easily, um, whatever angle they're looking at. Right, that's it for this video. Uh, like I say, I will be doing more videos. Um, and I want to get this code up on my GitHub account so that um, everybody else can use it, contribute, make changes, make things better. Um, I am looking at probably doing my next video where I implement a button here um, so I like there's three buttons here um, obviously there's two here by moving this one up uh, sounds like my wife and little lads coming home from school yep <laughs> stop it um, stop it that's because there's movement outside it keeps re uh, updating I should have turned that off uh, right so <laughs> Uh, I want to move this button up to the top uh, and in line with this external voice off button put a, put a button there uh, where I can actually access the last um, people are talking and it's put me off slightly uh, so <laughs> move the decking lights off in line with this one come back um, so yeah move this one down put another button here so that I can access the last um, CCTV triggered image um, that is stored into memory because it only um, creates one picture um, rather than doing multiple pictures it'll just waste space on the SD card um, so basically it's just one picture um, so I'll be able to get that last picture um, that last preview I should say uh, as I'm whenever I want to uh, so that's it for this video and uh, hopefully I'll have the next video out tomorrow uh, okay thank you for watching please like and share um, the video if you can that'll be fantastic and if you're not a subscriber already please subscribe to get more awesome videos like this one <laughs> where my uh, my video is getting screenshot. What's the word? Well, I can't really say photo bomb, can I? Because it's a video. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.